Welcome to this video about how to plan and create content for your website. This is video 5 in a series of 10 that take you through the step-by-step -step process of building your own internet business. My name is Miles Galliford and I'll be your presenter today. In this video we will look at the types of content you can create, how to write for the internet, what to consider when creating your content mix, how to source content for your site, and finally bring it all together in a simple content plan. So let's get started by looking at the types of content. Most websites focus on written content supported by images and there's nothing wrong with this and it's a sensible way to get started. However, you shouldn't rule out multimedia content which includes audio and video it's become really easy to record audio content either directly onto your computer with a cheap microphone or onto a portable digital recorder which you can then upload to your PC. There are many great software applications for editing the audio. If you're a Mac user I suggest you use GarageBand which is an application that comes included with the software on your computer. If you're a Windows user I suggest you try the free open source audio editor called Audacity. This can be downloaded free from the web. And now recording video is also within the reach of the beginner. And one of the easiest ways to get started is using what is called screencast software. This records whatever is on your screen as you speak into a microphone. The video you're watching is created using PowerPoint and a software program called Camtasia. The advantage of doing a screencast is you don't have to have a video camera or learn anything about lighting, editing or speaking to camera. And remember, multimedia content is why the web has such a big advantage over print media. So take advantage of this and plan to include multimedia content on your site. It's not hard to do. So moving on to writing for the web. You must remember that people read 40% slower from a screen than they do from paper. So you have to adapt and accommodate this in the way that you write. You must ensure that there is lots of white space and always use dark text on a white background to maximize contrast. This hugely improves readability. And write short sentences and short paragraphs. And use lots of subheaders and bullet points to break up the page. Internet users don't read blocks of text, they scan them for interesting points. So make sure your important messages stand out from the article and are easy to pick up at a glance. These are really important points. It doesn't matter how good your content is, if it's not easy to read, it won't get read. When writing for the web, use the acronym HEART, H-E-A-R-T, to always remind yourself of what is important when building your your authority on a subject. In this case HEART stands for honest, exclusive, accurate, relevant and timely and this is what all your content should be. Many content websites have just one type of content. Often it's comments on industry news stories or it could be lengthier feature articles or possibly lots of product reviews. And for some websites, this content focus works well. However, many of the most successful online websites learn from offline magazines and create an exciting and varied mix of content, which could include case studies, interviews, questions and answers, checklists, top ten lists, industry gossip, a directory, research or survey results, how-to articles, etc., etc. A good mix of content is interesting for you to produce and for your visitors to read and I always recommend trying to get a varied mix. Having a good content mix is all very well but you have to find sources of information to keep the content flowing. Indeed one of the most common reasons why content driven website owners give up is because it becomes so stressful to continually come up with new ideas for content. This will not be a problem for you if you get a great list of content sources and you plan your content carefully. You're probably sitting on a lot of content already, 
that you can reuse for your site. Any books you've done, articles or research that you've, that you've undertaken can be published again online. And remember to break up long articles into multiple posts. For example, one article about buying a house in Spain could be many posts including researching the best place to live in Spain, how to find a house in Spain, finding a lawyer, dealing with a Spanish estate agent, getting a mortgage in Spain, etc. etc. One article, lots of posts. You've got to build and maintain a contact list so you always have people you can call to get fresh ideas and fresh stories. Contact journalists, association, bloggers and other people with a passion for your subject. Set up a Facebook account or a LinkedIn or Plaxo account to help you keep in touch with these people. And it's important to invite regular guest writers to reduce the burden on yourself. It's common for bloggers to write articles for multiple sites to build their reputation. Companies who are targeting your audience will often provide regular content for free if they can put their name and contact details at the end of it. And associations and societies will usually provide content when asked. And just as a note, you must always maintain editorial rights on all contributions so that you can ensure that the quality of your site remains consistent. Another way of sourcing new and up-to-date content is by creating a web page that brings together all the news from your industry in one place. This will provide an endless source of ideas and stories. This is easy to do with what are known as news feeds or RSS feeds. To understand how they work or to set up your own industry news page, try the two services I use. They are pageflakes.com and google.com forward slash reader. You just won't believe how valuable these free services are until you try them and use them regularly. Finally, always carry a notebook around with you and jot down ideas as they come to you. This is an absolutely crucial way of avoiding writer's block. Your notebook should always provide you with an endless stream of content ideas. And the final thing you must do is create a content plan to bring this, all this stuff together. I use an ordinary spreadsheet like Microsoft Excel or the free spreadsheet in Google Docs. Down the left, left hand column I write the mix of articles that I plan on regularly producing. In this example I've listed a feature article 1, feature article 2, a website review, a weekly news summary and a video. Along the top I have the week number and then under each week I have subject which is the article title, who which is the name of the person creating the content and status which is how far along the content creation has gone. I then fill in the titles of the articles or the content for that week. You can always change and juggle what articles you write and when you write them as the plan evolves over time. But by having them in the plan it means you will never be short of ideas. I then fill out the next few weeks. I tend to try and keep a rolling three month plan. It continually changes and evolves but I'm never short of topics. A spreadsheet like this also helps me plan for holidays and days off. Usually I try and write one extra article each week so I have a, have a store of them I can publish whilst I'm away. So in summary, remember to write for the web. People read 40% slow and scan the page. This means sentences and paragraphs should be short and pages should be broken up with lots of subheaders and bullet points. Create a good mix of content including audio and video clips. Continually build your sources of content and monitor what is going on in your sector using RSS feeds. And finally, it's crucial to create a content plan and keep it updated. This will allow you to plan your time, get a good life work balance and ensure you never, you never run out of ideas. So thank you for watching and listening and I hope to be talking to you again soon in video 6 which is about how to actually build your website. If you want to be notified when new videos are released 
and get access to hundreds of free articles about how to make money online, go to subhub.com and sign up for the free newsletter. Thank you again and I look forward to speaking to you soon.